Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Biosciences with Shatajreen Sawati and welcome to all who did not subscribe my channel and uh, still watching my lectures and videos. I'm very thankful to all of you and welcome to all those who have subscribed my channel and watching my videos, my lectures and sharing and getting knowledge. So I have a very humble request to all of you. Keep watching, keep sharing uh, knowledge with others and promote my channel. If you are promoting my channel, you are promoting the education. So today I'm going to start my next series of lecture and this series I created on the request of my students who requested me to uh, conduct the lectures on uh, various topics from uh, cell biology. So I will um, discuss, I will deliver lecture on the cell structure, function and many more in this series inshallah. So keep watching all my lectures and um, I will uh, give a little bit of introduction to the cell biology to uh, the uh, a little bit to the history and about the uh, cell theory today so in my next lectures I will discuss the detailed structure about the difference of the prokaryotes and eukaryotic cells and many more inshallah so keep watching my lectures my channel now i am going to start my lecture so students are you ready take out your notebook your pen and pencil and note down the lecture i'm going to start so first of all I'm introducing you people to the legacy of a founding father of modern cell biology, George Emil Plaid. He was born in 1912 and died in 2008. And students, are you familiar with Plaid? Okay, if you are not, I'm telling you the Plaid, Emil Plaid was the discoverer of ribosomes he was he was one of those persons who discovered the most important organelle of the cell that is ribosome and he also discovered uh, the pathway of the protein synthesis okay and he is now considered as a father of modern cell biology what is basically the cell biology is cell as you know that the cell which is the unit of life basic structure and function unit of life and this cell biology is the study of that cell and this is the very important branch of biology which is also known as cellular biology and sometimes is known as cytology so the cell biology deals with both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells and can be divided into many subtopics which may include the study of the cell metabolism i will discuss in detail what is cell metabolism cell communication that means cells communicate with each other i will uh, uh, tell you how the cells communicate then about the cell cycles mean the interphase and cell division phase which includes further mitosomy osseous and many more and about the biochemistry that cell is made up of which chemicals and the cell composition and i will discuss all these things all these topics inshallah step by step so keep watching my lecture my channel Okay, the study of the cell is performed using several techniques such as the cell culture technique, tissue culturing, I will uh, show you and I will uh, deliver the lecture about that, various types of the microscopy and the cell fractination. Is it clear now? Uh, you people are now familiar with the father of the modern cell biology and what is basically the cell biology and cell biology includes which topics 
and it deals with uh, which types of the cells okay now I am going to discuss about the cell theory the cell theory basically before starting the cell theory I will here discuss about the history little bit history not in detail I will discuss the history of the cell uh, one by one step by step so first of all I will introduce you people with the most familiar person Robert Hooke who discovered first time the cell in the cork and you can see here uh, the cork um, uh, in which the cells uh, you can see you can observe here in the figure and uh, also you can observe the Robert Hooke microscope here and at that time the microscope was not so advanced and developed so uh, Robert Hooke uh, discovered the cell uh, and give it the give it the name cell uh, because of its structure room like structures and he called that rooms as cell so after the Robert Hooke there was another uh, most famous scientist Anton van Leeuwenhoek Anton van Leeuwenhoek also saw the uh, cell under, under his microscope and he confirmed that there is something that is known as the cell in the living organisms so later on there is another scientist Robert Brown in 1831 he saw central structure in plant cells and called that structure as a nucleus so he is the Robert Brown okay the next one the Rodel Vico Rodel Vico gave the most important uh, feature of the uh, cell theory and that was of the origin of the cell was the division of the pre-existing cell he called that the new cell arise from the already existing cell so he was the Rodel Viku who gave the gave the concept of what the cell origin from the pre-existing cell now the most important person Sheldon and the other was the Shevon Sheldon was the botanist and Shevon was a zoologist so the most uh, familiar person about the cell theory Now I'm going to start the cell theory. The first point, the first feature of the cell theory that all living organisms are composed of one or more cells. There are many more organisms that are, some are eukaryotes and some are prokaryotes. If they are prokaryotic, if they are eukaryotic, they are all made up of the cells. Some organisms are just one cell, like amoeba. In case of the prokaryotes, you can see the bacteria. They are all one cell. And their one cell perform all the functions. And if you can see uh, they, uh, that uh, like human, like all the living organisms, uh, you can see here the horse uh, and uh, the plants and many algae and fungi and many more. All are made up of, are composed of cells. So some are unicellular 
and some are multicellular. Unicellular are those which are composed of one cell and multicellular are those which are composed of many cells. Is it clear? Now, the second point. Cell is the basic unit of structure and organization in organism. As you can see here, the cell, which is the basic unit of structure, means the cell, this feature means the cell gives the structure. Like your eyes, ears, nose, all these are the structures, like inside structure, like kidney, heart, stomach and many more all these structures are produced as a result of the uh, uh, grouping of the cells so cell provide the structure and organization you can see that organs different organs in the body of the living organism in human plants all have different organs and all these organs are made up of the cells. Cells, uh, as you can see here, the cell cells then combine to form the tissues and tissues then uh, form the organs and organ then form the organ system and organ system form the organism. Is it clear? So this is what uh, the first point, all living cells are composed of the one or more cell. The second point that it is the uh, unit of the structure and function and organization. Now, cell is the basic functional unit of life. What does it mean? All the cellular metabolism involve complex sequences of the uh, biochemical reactions, better known as metabolic pathways. Is it clear? So the cell is the functional unit of life. Like the structure unit, it is also the functional unit. Means, what does it mean that uh, cell is the functional unit? Because all the function like excretion, respiration, message transmission, all the functions are carried out in the cell. Like the heart cells perform the function of the blood pumping. Kidney cells perform the function of blood purification. Lung cells involved in the um, uh, oxygenation of the blood. Stomach cells involved in what uh, you can say digestion. So metabolism, which cellular metabolism consists of the anabolism as well as the catabolism. Like you can say that metabolism is some of all the chemical reaction which may be catabolism which may be anabolism what is catabolism in which the large molecule or macromolecule break down like proteins macromolecule break down into amino acids this is what catabolism if you say that the amino acids group together unite with each other chemically react with each other and produces the proteins Amino acids are smaller micromolecules and proteins which are produced by the combination by the chemical reaction of the amino acids, they are macromolecules. So the formation of the macromolecule from the micromolecule which is anabolism and formation of the and the breakdown of the larger molecule into uh, um, uh, micromolecules or small molecules is catabolism. So all these reactions, protein synthesis, protein breakdown, carbohydrate synthesis, carbohydrate breakdown, ATP synthesis, ATP breakdown, all these functions are carried out by the cell. Is it clear? The concept is clear now? Okay. Now, Cell arise from the pre-existing cells. How? Each cell gives its copy by, you can say, the replication by cell division. And the basic uh, type of cell division which is responsible for the growth and development of the living organism is the mitosis. So during mitosis, what will happen? Exact copy of the cell is produced. Similarly, in case of the germ cells, Egg and sperm, you can see that the meiosis occur. 
so the cell arises from the pre-existing cells by the mechanism of cell division okay now the next dna which is the hereditary material present inside the nucleus of the cell as you can see here cell inside the cell there is a nucleus and inside the nucleus there are chromosomes and chromosomes are made up of the dna and protein and dna is what that is the genetic material that is the deoxyribonucleic acid which is responsible for the transmission of the character from the parents to their offspring so dna which is the main controlling uh, macromolecule are the dna is the polymer of the nucleotide polynucleotide chains chain which is present inside the nucleus and control all the activities and the heredity is it clear now i hope so the lecture will be clear upon you people if you like my lecture uh, kindly comment in the comment box and keep watching all my lectures share my lecture inshallah i will be back with my new lecture from the uh, cell biology series thank you very much and allah hafiz